Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you the process of making a high performance, high frequency inverter, with a rated power of 1000 watts continuously, without any issue. After one week I received my PCV from JLC PCV and the result was excellent. First I solder the SMD components, SMD components is difficult to soldier if you solder them last. After I solder the SMD components, Next I put in solder the throw hole components. This is the result after some of the through hole components have been soldered. I used GDT to drive the DC MOSFETs. This is the power supply for H bridge and the SPWM module. I used 10 MOSFETs, 5 on its side, the MOSFETs I used was 75NF75 MOSFETs. This is the PWM module I used, I used SG3525, and a combination of LM358 as a protection control. Next I installed the pulse transformer. I used ETD 4415 transformer, with a turn ratio of 4 plus 4 turns on primary side and 60 turns on secondary side. And the supply voltage was 24 volts. Before installing the H-Bridge IGBTs and SPWM module, I must check first if there is an 380 volts output, a 15 volts IGBT supply and 5 volts for SPWM supply module.
This is the complete product. I used high temperature silicone glue for the inductor and capacitor. These will eliminate the sound generated by the inductor and serve as protection during transportation. This is the SPWM module, I used EGS002 for the output side and SG3525 module on the DC side. Now I test it, this inverter has various protection functions, such as low voltage protection, overheat protection, reverse battery protection, overload protection, and short circuit protection. Next I installed it on my portable power station, this power station, the inverter was damaged so this is the replacement. The test load was a 900 watts heater. Each heater has a power of 300 watts. As you can see this inverter can handle 900 watts continuously without any issue. Now test overload protection. I used an iron as a load, 
This iron has a power rating of 1000 watts. And now the overload protection was triggered. Next I test the short circuit protection. See the short circuit protection was triggered. Now I test again the 900 watts heater, and see it running without any issue. <laughs> 